Hi everyone, welcome back to Finding Your Indie. My name is Mandy Stevens and I am an ad and social media strategist. Today we're going to dive into something a little bit controversial. Bonnie and I were actually talking about it, okay, so I was ranting about it and she said you really need to do a video on this. So what is this? Stuff your Kindle day. And why I think authors, especially indie authors, might, might want to think twice before participating in something like this. I tell everyone I know all the time why they shouldn't, and now I get to tell you. So if you're an author looking to build a loyal reader base, get genuine reviews, and grow your career, then stick around because I'm going to share some great alternatives that have worked wonders for me in my own marketing. So what is Stuff Your Kindle Day, just in case you're not familiar, because it's everywhere. It's basically an event where authors offer their books up for free, encouraging them to download as many books as they want at no cost. There's, they don't have to sign up for a newsletter, nothing like that. It's kind of like, um, like a, a Black Friday deal, which sounds amazing, but as an author, especially if you're in it for the long game, it may not be the best move for your career. One of the main problems I think is it attracts freebie hunters, people who just want free books and this is training people to just want free books because if they're downloading 2,000 books they have something to read for quite a while and why buy anything. And these people aren't going to want to leave your reviews, actually engage with you or support your work long term because they're downloading hundreds and thousands of books. And when are they gonna read them? Are they gonna read them? Not likely. If they don't read the book, they're not leaving the reviews, they're not engaging with you, they're definitely not gonna buy your next release. Um, on t I was watching on TikTok and there were several influencers who were talking about the stuff your Kindle day and how they wait around for it. And one of them, she's like, yeah, well I waited around for it, I downloaded 2,000 books and maybe I read five of them. So even if she did read them all, when is she going to get to your book, 2027? It's basically giving your work away for free without any return. It's training readers to just look for free books. And I've been saying this for years, especially when everybody was doing, where they were releasing their books at only 99 cents. It's not a long-term strategy, and it actually harms all authors. Now you're going to wonder why you're not selling books and why you're not making money. Because you've changed your audience. So the Stuff Your Kindle Day is not a good long-term marketing strategy that benefits authors. Yes, giving away books can be fantastic because it's a great way you can build an audience, but to who is what matters. When you're one book among thousands and thousands in an event like this, it's going to get lost in the crowd. And it's unlikely readers will remember your book specifically. Instead, this is something I do. Offer a free book if that works for you. I do a magnet um, and I offer it in exchange for a reader's email because I'm getting something out of it. I join targeted book funnel promos and I run ads to it. So I know that these people are interested in my genre or niche. It's a great way to reach people who are genuinely interested in your work and not just grabbing freebies. Cycling freebies is fine. It's very strategic, like offering the first book in a series can be effective marketing. But what's different from participating in a mass event like this is you're actually going to get visibility. You can run ads to your first book and series and then you get read through, but it's nothing like doing Stuff Your Kindle. That's why I don't think Stuff Your Book events are a great way to use your free books to grow your readership. Now, they do target now um, where they break it down into genre, which is very helpful because readers can see whether they like romance or fantasy or thriller. So there is some level of targeting. But even with these genre filters, you are still offering your book to a vast group of readers with diverse interests within that genre. These readers may be grabbing your book just because it's free rather than actually reading about it. They're flipping through and just downloading as many books as they can because they have thousands of books to go through. I like 
book funnel promotes because it's not just selecting the genre, you're collaborating with authors who write in very similar niches, meaning the readers are genuinely looking for a particular style or type of story. This way, you're reaching out to that focused audience and uh, you're finding people who will actually read all of your books and you're getting them on your newsletter list. So if you're offering a free story with book funnel, make sure that you're having them subscribe to your newsletter list. Okay, like, but Mandy, I did the stuff your Kindle and it worked for me. First of all, amazing. Did you do it the very first time they did it or early the next few times? Because I'm very happy for you. You're one of the few because long term, the many authors I know that have done this have not seen any long term effects. In fact, everyone groans because they know on stuff your Kindle days, sales are awful for everybody. So what's the alternative? Um, of course, BookBub. It doesn't have as much punch as it used to, but it's still pretty good, even though it's costly. So if you're looking for a low cost, I suggest BookFunnel promotions. Um, if you're unfamiliar with BookFunnel, it's a great tool that allows you to create highly targeted reader-centric promotions. You partner with other authors who are in your genre. Um, so the people who are joining the giveaways as readers are definitely interested. And you can just do like just for KU to where people are actually buy, you know, buying reading, so that's cool. You get email signups where with Stuff Your Kindle you don't. And that means you can, can continue to connect with these readers directly and hopefully you have uh, something set up to bring them into your books in your in like a newsletter sequence. Book funnel readers are often more engaged. Um, they've downloaded your book because it's actually what they want to read. Then you have more control over your promotions. You can set limits on how many copies you give away, create genre specific promos, set up your own promos, unlike the mass free for all for Stuff Your Kindle Day. I know Stuff Your Kindle Day sounds really tempting. I mean, after all, who doesn't want to get their book in front of thousands and thousands of readers? but it's crucial to think about the quality of the exposure. Are you growing a, lo a loyal reader base or are you just handing out free books to people who are never really gonna read them? That's why in my experience, uh, there's different kinds of promos that are definitely more strategic. You can also stack your own promos. Uh, we have a list which I'll put down below. Um, when you have sales, you can stack it around. There's lots of different sites and then you can do your own book funnel promos. So I'd love to hear your thoughts. Um, if you have participated in Stuff Your Kindle Day, did it work for you long term, not the thousands of downloads you got? Because I mean, everybody did that. Uh, I'd love to chat about it. You can drop it below or post it in our group. Um, if you found this video helpful, please hit the like and subscribe for more tips on building your writing career. Until next time, happy writing.